In this video, I will walk you through my texturing process that I have used to create this hard metal material in Substance Painter. First of all, let me hide all the layers so we can look at each one of them. The very first step that you have to do after importing your model in Substance Painter is to bake its mesh map. So I have baked the mesh maps with default value with 4K size and I have put the dilation with to around 3 or 4. And I have not changed anything else. I have just clicked back XFT texture and these are the result. Now the first layer I have created and okay, these normal details you are seeing here are actually I have used a high res mesh which I have sculpted in ZBrush for the while baking its mesh maps. You can see here this is the high res mesh of this hammer head which I have used to bake normal map in it. So this is the normal map you are seeing right now which I have baked through the high res which I have done in ZBrush. Now moving ahead let's start by a very first layer. So this is a basic fill layer I have used type in a projection and this material over here you can see. This material is from texture.com. It's a rust heavy medium rust albedo map. And I used its base color and roughness value. And it looks like this with triplanar UV mapping. Nothing fancy. I have yeah, I have changed its color a bit by using an HSL filter, which you can apply to your layer from here. I have just played with the lightness setting of this filter to make it a bit darker. The original texture is like this and I have made it something like blackish old metal. Now the second layer you if you look I have given it a variation in the bottom of this hammerhead. If I turn it on this is a little like a yellowish color which I have taken from reference. I can't show you the reference images of this hammerhead. But yeah, it's there and I have created this mask. I have hand painted this mask to get this yellow color visible only in this area. Now let's come to our next layer. It's a black variation layer. For this, I have used the same texture with its roughness map, but I have used different settings in HSL filter. So it looks something like this. If you can see here, this is a little bit blackish. I have made it black. As you can see, this is the same texture, but I have I have make it even darker than the base color. So it's looking like this, and I have created its mask through different paint layers. I like to use different paint layers while working, so I can have more control over it if I want to change anything in future. So the first paint layer is like this. I have painted it here. It's a little brushed part of the hammerhead. The second paint layer, I have given it this texture. I have done this with the help of this brush. If I can show you the brush right here. There are many different good brushes in Substance by default. I think I have used this one. Yes, you, I have used this one for this. As you can see, it has this pattern. Then the next layer I have took a black paint and remove some of the previous ones from the middle of it and from even from here also. And in the last paint layer, I have added all this blackish color on the base of this hammerhead. So finally, it looks like something like this. You can see the black part here is this layer. So it gives a little variation to it. Now let's come to our next fill layer. This is also a fill layer. I have used the same texture again and obviously with different hue saturation and lightness value. And in the mask of his, it is like something like this. This is the mask. So basically I need to have some, some spots of light rust on top of it. So I have created this mask. So how I have made this mask, I have taken a fill inside this mask and I have applied a cloud texture on it as you can see then I have painted 
some of the areas like i need those ports only in the middle of it so i don't need them here so i have removed some of the areas here and here but still i want to remove more of it so i have added so i have added a contrast filter which basically like i have increased its contrast so it removed these little cloudy texture from there so yeah and then this is uh, the mask but i used i need to have it reversed or inverted because the black part here i need them to be white and the white part i need them to be black so i take invert filter simple and i just invert this mask so it looks like this these spots you can see also i've given these spots a little of a height like 0 0.03 height you can see so these spots looks good on this hammerhead top front then i have created some scratches it's simple enough i've taken a fill layer made it a white color give it a little bit of a depth and made this mask you can see here i've used this crunch scratch of texture from the default textures of substance you can find them here these are all the grunge maps different grunge maps you can use i use this one and then i have used a cloud texture over it to make it only visible in few spots also if you are using a second fill layer on top of a fill you have to put it on multiply otherwise it won't work like if i set it to normal only you can see only the cloud texture because the grunge texture will be underneath it and it won't be visible so you have to set its blending mode to multiply to make it work with the grunge texture so that's how the scratches are made then i have made a brushed metal as you can see here this is a simple enough material like i have used a white color i'll give it a roughness of 0.2 something and metallic value obviously will be one and then i have created this mask for it you can see i have hand painted this mask like i have used a brush and painted this white portion over here and over here then i have again took a paint layer and removed some of the spots from my previous paint layer and on top of that i have like made the edges more sharp that's how it's done and now let's come to our edges like on the edges we have to have some uh, metal showing so we have created this layer same material the last one but with different masks this is the mask this is the final mask for this layer and for this i have started with the fiberglass edge wear generator mask generator and played it some settings of this this is the settings you can see then i have added a cloud texture as i told set it to multiply then i have hand painted this demo and I removed some of the spots then again i have added a paint layer and add this one with the help of a brush fiber brush it is i don't remember actually but yeah you'll find that brush in substance default then i'll again add a paint layer and add some edges even more so this is the final mask for this one then let's come to a paint which is on the hammer hammer head actually so for this green paint i have used a texture which i've downloaded from texture.com same this is the green machine paint texture and i have used this one and then obviously i have changed its color with the hsl perspective and for this i have used a stencil which i have created this one chipped paint 2 this is the stencil i've used to create its mask if you see its mask this is the mask and this is the main mask actually so let me show you how i've done it i'll just uh, let me hide this mask also. let that uh, just add a paint layer on this go to projection then drag and drop your texture to here inside this paint layer on the gray scale drag and drop your texture here so it will be on your stencil then if you paint from your brush you can actually paint through those stencil and it will look 
much better and it will help you a lot while making masks so i always recommend using stencils while making mask for your objects so that's how i have done this one let me delete this layer and enable this that's how i've done this one and then these are uh, all are hand painted and then i've created again a paint layer to give it a subtle look on the front and some hair also so that's how the green paint is there then i've done the yellow paint i have used the same material but with but with different saturation hue and lightness value obviously uh, it looks something like this so again i have created this mask using stencil the same stencil i have used these two this is the inverted version of this one i have used these two and again i have painted it some here and there so it came on top of this paint then i have to make a dirt layer because these paints are like looking like brand new paint but this uh, metal is old so this paint have to be dirty so i have created a dirt layer but to make it work only on this paint layer i have copied both the mask this and this one i have copied this mask and put it inside this so the mask for this dirt layer is also the same these two are this uh, this mask is from here the green paint and this mask is of yellow paint so i have joined both of these mask and put it in the dirt layer so this dirt only will look only on the paints uh, with this this dirt is overpowering them so make dirt visible only a little bit so i have created a cloud texture again the same multiply blending mode i have used to make it work with the below layers so that's how i have done this hard metal so yes basically this is it for this prop hope you like it see you in the next video